Good afternoon. It's Jerry Tony on a Friday afternoon. Listen, after being in prayer all week and uh, being in study and making sure that the uh, thing that we're doing is of the Lord, I have decided to go ahead and do this. Um, I will say this, and I and as a disclaimer, uh, I am not sure how good this is going to work considering the time and the season we're in, but we are going to send out religious exemption letters. Um, I have a copy uh, of that letter from Church at the Ranch. It's a two-page piece with my signature at the bottom, and um, it requires that I type in your name individually and that um, I mail these letters out, not send you a printed copy because of the amount of time it takes to get that done. And it sounds weird, but it's a lot faster if I just go ahead and stuff them in an envelope and mail them to you. Um, should get them in two or three days. Now, the disclaimer I'm doing is, is this, is I don't know how many of the governments in the United States or how many of the merchants are going to even accept this religious exemption. Uh, I'm hearing some that say that that it is possible that they their employer will accept it. They just need one. And some people don't have a pastor except for me to send out that religious exemption. So I'm willing to do so, but here is the criteria. The criteria is, is I need you to email me at info church at the ranch.com your mailing information and the information, the name that goes on the, uh, the name that goes on the sheet, okay? I got to have a name that goes on here. Now, when you, I'm, I'm asking for your courtesy on this because of the amount of people who are going to be requesting is going to be off the charts. We need you to send that email with the address, the name of the person and the address so that I can copy clip it and put it on a label. So put it in copy clip form, name, address, city, state, zip code, because I want to be able to copy clip that and take it directly into a uh, label format. Um, I think this is I think that here at the ranch we have a full plate, but we're willing to do this. Now, I'm asking this also. Take this however you want to. There's a there's a lady calls her evangel herself evangelist whatever out in California and she's charging I know I asked her for a copy of hers and she wants twenty five dollars for a copy of hers and I'm not charging twenty five dollars to anyone to do this. However, if you feel led in your heart to send us a donation to help us with the hours that it's going to take to get this done, I would really appreciate it. There is the cost of paper and stamps and my wife and I's time to get this done. So, yes, we are doing religious exemption letters. I have the format laid out. I am willing to do this, but please work with us on it so that we can serve you adequately. I'm going to say this also. And I, I'm asking you also to keep in deep prayer. I see so many people right now that have become relaxed in what is coming. I took a nap this afternoon. Of course, I'm an old man. I'm 69. I took my old people nap. And uh, when I got up, I just want to uh, read you a post that I did because it was from the Holy Spirit. Hang on one second. I'll open up that page on my other computer. Um, there are several posts that I put up. Uh, and this is one of them. Uh, actually, I'm going to read you all three of them. Do not be caught unawares of what is coming. The seal of the pale rider has been opened. His name is death and hell follows with him. We must become very sober and vigilant right now. I am seeing video after video, post after post, of people who have had their DNA altered by the mark of the beast 
and the damage is now starting to come. Let me read you this other post, okay? Uh, now I'm just going to read this and, and just be careful how you... I, I don't know what to tell you except this, is that many people are not taking seriously the things that are coming. The mark of the beast is reaching maturity. The fruit of the DNA change is about to bring many the full cost of fear. The toxin is taking peace from the earth and bringing a yoke of bondage. The Pale Rider. Let me tell you something. The four beasts of the apocalypse have been released. The first one is bringing a toxin. The second one is taking peace. The third one is bringing a yoke of bondage. Those who deny that this is real, go ahead and deny it. I, I am seeing it full time, full on. People are hurting right now. We understand that just after this, it says a uh, loaf of bread for a penny, a day's work just for something to eat. That's why people are asking for this, okay, for this. Because they're trying to survive right now. They're trying to do so without having to leave the company they're in. As I said before, I'm not sure how all of this is going to pan out, but I can tell you this. Coming the first of the year, I think the Pale Rider, we're going to see the obvious effects of those beasts. And I think that this is coming faster than we know. We need to be sober and vigilant. Anyway, we're here. <clears throat> I'll make sure that the email address is posted below. I do always do a copy clip. So if you look below, you'll see the email address and a link. It is info, I-N-F-O, at church at the ranch dot com. Okay? It's that simple. All small letters. Send us your request. If you can afford to do a donation to the ministry, there's a PayPal link down below. This is us taking on, I mean, to send out a thousand of these in one week is very possible. And people are hurting and they understand what this is coming to. If, if this will help you, we'll do it. I'm not going to say that I recommend it one way or the other, but uh, I have some people who say that they wouldn't even offer it. Well, we're offering it because people are requesting it and we love you so much. This is Jerry Tony here at Church at the Ranch. Love you guys. I'm hoping this will do something for you. Talk to you later. Bye.